Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine with a seven card spread. Okay, y'all, this is for the year 2022. I'm going to prepare you for what's coming. Um, I've had a lot of dreams and visions and also um, there's four Mercury retrogrades coming this in that year, which is not going to be good, y'all. You have to prepare. Um, yeah, so I'm going to prepare you for what's coming for that year so you won't be, be like we were this year with the pandemic. You'll be better prepared uh, this time around in 2022. Okay, so I drew seven cards. I asked the questions, what do, should we expect for 2022 with the Mercury retrogrades, uh, with natural disasters, with travel, career, and love, and what is the home nation or home nation to expect? Okay, so the first card is the Queen of Wands. All right, so yeah. Okay, so here we have uh, in the upright position, there's messages coming in. This Queen's pretty confident. Okay, so when the Queen of Wands is in the reverse, that means a lot of delays. So we're going to have four Mercury retrogrades. And you know, every time there's a Mercury retrograde, um, that means that things travel backwards. Okay, it's the redo planet. So there's going to be a lot of redos in everything. In careers, relationships, jobs, um, especially electronic stuff. We're going to have so many problems in the year 2022 with electronic stuff because of Mercury retrograde four times. We normally have two Mercury retrogrades per year, but we're going to have four. So most of your computers are going to crash all year long. You're going to have cell phones messing up, even your brand new ones that you just bought. They're going to be all messed up. They're going to be spinning and spinning. You're going to be like, what's wrong with this? I just bought it. Don't go out and buy another one because it's due to mega retrograde. When mega retrograde passes, your phones will start working again, but then the next one comes in and I'll do it again. And so on and so forth. And you'll be like, oh, my God. So the whole world is going to be frustrated with electronics, okay, with computers. You're going to have so many computer crashes all year long. So it's going to mess up things at work. And everyone's going to be frustrated about it the whole year. It's going to be a hellish year, okay, as far as that's concerned. All electronic parts, anything with electronic is going to mess up. Anything that's got moving parts, cars, automobiles, will be a lot of, please don't travel in 2022, y'all. Unless you can keep up with the Mercury retrograde phases, you can Google them and it'll it'll show you for 2022 when the phases go in and out. During those phases when it's not, um, when the Mercury retrograde is not retrograding, then it's safe to travel. Until then, I will not travel, especially by plane, because there's going to be so many plane crashes. I see that the airlines are going to ground their planes for a little while because they're not going to know what's going on. They're going to be like, what is going on with these engines? And why are we having so much mechanical troubles? You'll hear on the news, oh my God, um, this plane had to be landed over here. It didn't make it because they had a mechanical trouble. And we had to uh, cancel this flight because of mechanical troubles. And you're going to keep hearing that in the year 2022, especially about planes. Traveling in a car, um, you'll have mechanical breakdowns as well. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're going to travel, be prepared and take extra stuff as if you were going to break down. Take extra blankets, cell phone cords, batteries, flashlights, food, whatever. And be prepared for that for the whole year to come. Because I'm telling you, former retrogrades is going to wreak havoc all year long. It's going to be a real rough year for everybody concerned, okay? So now we have the two of swords in the reverse. So here it is. It looks like this is near a uh, body of water. So I'm seeing natural disasters that are going to come in. There's going to be a lot of tsunamis coming in in 2022. There's going to be floods. I see a lot of floods, not even not just big floods, but I see also little floods, too, like maybe in your homes. Um, there'll be a lot of plumbing uh, mess ups, you know, people will have to call a plumber all the time. Um, yeah, so you're going to be in, in, um, uh, how do I say it? You're not going to be moving forward. Uh, you're going to be in stagnation, a lot of stagnation with this card. Um, yeah, so 
if you're going to vacation, uh, again, I wouldn't vacation in the year 2022, but if you're going to vacation, don't vacation near a body of water because you'll regret it. You might have a, uh, a tsunami that comes or it might rain so much that you'll be stuck there. You won't be able to get back. Um, some kind of flood. I see floods, lots of floods. Um, be prepared for floods, especially in your home. If you live near the water, be prepared ahead of time with sandbags and stuff like that. So, um, you know, you'll be prepared when that flood comes because it's coming. I see a big one coming. I see a big tsunami coming. I see a lot of water rising. Um, yeah, so um, I'm seeing a lot of people taking action, taking action because of this stuff that's coming in so uh, before people weren't like all that concerned about it in the upright in the upright it's like indecision people were kind of blind to everything you see how she's blind and it's in, across means indecision but now that this pandemic happened everybody's more aware of stuff now they're going to be more aware of things coming in like pandemics uh, earthquakes tornadoes so people are going to start preparing more like like it's going to be the end of the world because now that they've suffered this pandemic, people are going to start shopping more and keeping things, you know, under lock and storage, uh, being prepared more, just like with toilet paper that they're doing now, food and all that. And that's a good thing, y'all, to prepare for anything because as time goes on, we're getting closer to those times. Just like I made that video about the new world order. Okay, we're getting closer. Every year we get closer and closer. Every year we're going to have more natural disasters, more pandemics. It's going to keep coming and coming. Okay, so it is good to, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but it is good to prepare ahead of time for natural disasters, have food stored up, um, prepare, you know, for travel and all that. doesn't mean you can't live your normal life. Keep living your normal lives as best you can, but also be prepared for what's coming. Okay, but I do see um, people that are taking action. With this two of swords, I see people taking action and they are going to be prepared, more prepared than they were for this pandemic that we just had. Okay, now I see the devil, this damn devil. He's always in the way, isn't he? So this is, again, the government, okay, third world party that wants to keep you under control. So I kind of do see, oh my God, hold on. Okay, my phone didn't stop. Every time someone tries to call me, it pauses the phone. Okay, so I do see um, uh, a third world country that wants to cause another either pandemic or spread something and see how he's got the people chained up. Okay, so this is whoever released the first pandemic is thinking about doing it again. Okay, so I see a second occurrence of Another pandemic, either the corona or something else coming in in the year 2020. And it's going to affect a lot of people again. So I don't know if it's going to be as major as this one was, because the United States is going to be more prepared this time around. Okay, they've learned from this. The United States has learned from this. So in the next one coming around, they're going to be more prepared. After this one is over, we're going to be forever changed. The United States is going to be forever changed. Things are going to be so different now as far as handling food, handling, you know, money, because money has a lot of germs on it. So a lot of things are going to change after this. A lot of businesses aren't going to be accepting cash money. They're only going to be accepting cards, pay with PayPal or pay with your phone app and stuff like that. So little small changes like that are coming through the United States. Okay. So, but I do see this devil that is under control of the third of the new world order is working on something and he's going to leash it out in the, in the year 2020. Okay. And he wants to keep the people chained up like this. He wants to take control of the whole world, not just one country, but of the whole world. You see his fire stick here. He lit, he lit the person on fire over here. You see that in the corner? Okay. That's what he wants to do. He wants to, to control everybody. That's why he's got him chained here. Look how ugly he looks. Oh, damn devil. <laughs> but so be prepared for that be better prepared for the next pandemic because we are going to have another one we are going to have another one the year possibly in the year 2020 to 2023 okay so in the year okay moving on to the king of pentacles okay so with this one it's in the reverse so this is um 
Okay, this has to do with money and being in control of money. Okay, so I kind of see our government being a little bit in trouble with money since they had this, they're going to spend so much this year. You know, we've lost so much already, businesses losing money right now. Uh, the government's going to dish out a whole bunch of stuff because they're trying to help us. So I kind of do see in the year 2020, they're going to be trying to catch up. They're going to be in a little bit of trouble financially. Doesn't mean it's going to affect us or anything, but I do see maybe like taxes going up. Uh, a lot of prices are going to be going up. Pr price gouging, you know, stores price gouge uh, because of shortage of stuff. And then we're not going to be buying so much from China or other countries and stuff like that. So our country is going to be, I don't know what that word is when they're in financial trouble. I know I see it on the news all the time, but I don't know what the word for it is. Okay, so I do see that, and then I see the rest of us in financial, a little bit of financial stress, because we're going to be trying to get over what happened now, from 2020 to 2021, and then when 2022 comes, we think we're getting right up under, and then boom, here comes the Mercury retrogrades that throws us all back again. Okay, so we I do see a little bit of financial trouble. So save now. The message is with this card is save your money now. Save what you can. Be prepared for, you know, another loss, another financial loss. Uh, yeah, just be prepared. Be better prepared. Okay, so now with the wand in the reverse, in the upright position, it means new beginnings, great beginnings. Uh, the universe offering you something, but it's in the reverse as well. Okay. So when it's in the reverse, I'm seeing that a lot of us aren't going to be as motivated because of so many things happening during Mercury retrogrades that we're all going to lose our motivation. We're going to be kind of down, um, thinking, you know, what are we? What am I doing wrong? Why is my my job's going wrong? Why is my relationship going wrong? This is about love and emotions. I see a lot of breakups during Mercury retrograde because. That's what Mercury Retrograde does. It makes us release things that no longer serve us. So if you're stuck in a relationship that no longer serves you and you don't know how to get out of it, Mercury Retrograde comes in and it pushes you out. Okay, it causes breakups. And, and you know, if you don't want to be in a relationship and don't know how to get out, Mercury Retrograde is going to get you out of it. So I see a lot of people going through that in 2022. There'll be a lot of divorces. The divorce rate is going to be high. Okay, the... the, the uh, rate of breakups is going to be high that year. Okay. And so this card is telling you to just stop and think and regroup, you know, think about what it is that you really want to do. Start over, you know, wait for this phase to pass by so you can be in the upright position again, because after, after this whole year, 2022, you'll be right back up again. But I do see a lot of that, a lot of emotional upsets because of breakups, weddings that don't happen. Um, yeah, but I do also see exes coming back because during Mercury Retrograde, exes, a lot of exes are going to come back. They're going to be looking for people, but exes never stay. Just remember that exes never stay. They come in and out, in and out, and there's going to be a whole lot of that because of the four retrogrades. They're going to come in, and then they'll be right back out. And then when the next retrograde comes that same year, they'll be back and knocking on your door, back, back out, back, back in, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, it's exhausting. So yeah, watch out for those excess because they don't, they don't, they don't want to do nothing but just go in and out. Um, yeah, so don't let your self esteem get too low. I see false starts. Like someone might say, "Oh, you got this job," and then later they'll call you and say, "Well, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait a little while, or it's gonna be a delayed. Like you, you're gonna, have, you won't start right away." Um, yeah, I see slow down in graduations weddings, um, anything like that. I see stagnation in that. I see a lot of stagnation that, um, yeah, I'm also seeing, um, miscarriage. I'm seeing miscarriage for some people that I'm sorry to say that that are pregnant and then they'll have a miscarriage because it's not going to go through like, like it won't materialize due to the retrogrades. I wouldn't even plan on having a baby in 2022. Okay. So I'm warning you ahead of time now, you know, don't get pregnant in 2021 and then you're going to have it in 2022 because you might not end up having it. Okay. So let that phase pass and then you can have a baby in 2023. Okay. 
That's not, you know, but we're going to get past this, y'all. As time goes on, you know, things get harder because we're moving to that direction, you know, where everybody knows that the end of time is coming and one day, eventually we will get there. Might be 10 years from now, might be 20 years from now, who nobody knows. Not even I know that. But we, every year we move closer to it. It doesn't mean you have to panic or cry or anything like that. You live your life the way you normally do. And as things come into our lives, we handle them through the grace of God. Okay. Just like we're handling this pandemic through the grace of God, we're going to get through it. And that's how you're going to handle everything else that comes up in your life. Because we do live here on this earth. The devil's on this earth and he causes a lot of grief and havoc, but we got the Lord above and our angels and our spirit guides to guide us through this earth, earthly earth thing. Okay. You keep living your life and you keep being positive and keep moving forward and do the best you can. That's, that's the only thing we can do. Keep your faith in God at all times. Don't ever lose your faith. No matter how bad things get, no matter what happens in your lifetime, never lose your faith in God because God is going to see you through. Okay, so the next one we have is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And again, that's more money situations I see happening. It's pretty much the same as this one here. Um, check your bank accounts. I'm seeing check your bank accounts because um, I'm seeing somebody messing up on numbers, like not on purpose. But when Mercury Retrograde comes in, I'm seeing numbers not being added upright. Okay, so all through the year of 2022, I see banks making mistakes on numbers. Um, don't do loans, any type of loan during 2022. Don't sign major contracts on 2022 because the whole year it'll be messed up. You'll, you'll miss something in the clause. Okay, don't buy homes. Don't buy any home and don't buy anything with moving parts like cars because you'll end up getting a lemon through the whole year. Do not plan on buying a car in 2022. Do it in 2021 or 2023, but don't do it in 2022 because you'll end up with a lemon. Okay. Check your bank accounts. You know, keep, keep track of your bank accounts because someone's making a mistake. You know, somewhere, somewhere, something's not right. Um, if you're planning on going to school, do it before or after 2022 but don't put it into motion in 2022 because it will not turn out right you're going to have a lot of problems a lot of stagnations especially with money grants all of that some of those grants are going to be put on hold they're going to be put on hold where you're not going to be able to get it in that year and then it'll be released in 23 okay so at the end we have justice okay so this card um towards the end of the year Justice here comes in and it prevails. Okay, see how the scales are balanced? So once we get through the last retrograde, everything's going to be okay. We're going to get right back up again. Justice is going to come in and make sure everything's right for us again. We just got to get through this phase of 2022. The very last uh, Mercury retrograde will pass. And then we're all going to feel a huge relief of stress just washing away. It's going to wash away and you're going to be like, Oh, thank God it finally ended. I hope I never go through that again. What happened? We're all going to be in awe. Like, what happened this year? Thank God this year is over. You know, I think a lot of us said that in 2018. I remember saying that in 2018. Like, thank God this year is over. Okay. So, yeah, that's how we're all going to be. But justice is here and, and the scales are balanced. So, we're all going to be okay towards the end of that year. You know, but just check yourself. Check your bank accounts. Check your travel if you're going to travel. Uh, check the phases, make sure you're traveling in the right kind of phase. Watch out for germs, you know, pandemics, uh, be safe, save your money, pack stuff ahead of time, um, have food already where you're going to be able to get it. If the next pandemic comes or an earthquake comes or, you know, whatever natural disaster comes, make sure you already have food put away, toilet paper put away, you know, whatever it is that you need, do it now. Do it now and do it all through 2021. So when 2022 hits, you will be prepared and you will be all right. You're going to make it. All right. So that's it for now, y'all. I will probably do an update on this again. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. And please don't worry, y'all, because everyone's going to make it. Because here we have the justice card. It is going to be a rough year, but I'm preparing you now. So it won't be that rough, okay? It won't be that rough if you prepare now and listen to the advice I'm giving you.
This is why I'm giving it to you now because we have a whole year and a half to prepare for it. All right. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.